it's that time of the week, it's fun formula time, let's go. Right, I think both uh, accidents were racing incidents. Jensen has been so used to overtaking the HRT under a blue flag situation that he actually forgot he was racing for position with Carthagian. The incident involving Seb and Rain could have been avoided by both. Seb cut in far too early, mistiming where the HRT was completely. Lorraine said on the BBC F1 forum that he couldn't move over anymore because he would have just lost control of the car and that would have caused an even bigger accident. It's just one of those things in that kind of situation where the conditions are awful and dangerous, it's hard to prevent uh, these things from happening. I do agree with what Narain Carthacane said on the forum after the race that the front runners take advantage of them when it comes to lapping. But on the other hand, when you're running seven seconds off the pace, you need to pay more attention to who's coming up behind you because at the end of the day, those guys are racing for the championship. Over the past two years, Massa seems like he's lost his confidence ever since that horrific accident he had in Hungary 2009 he hasn't been driving like he was in 2008 when he was going for the title and Massa must be doing something right because Ferrari haven't given him the boot but I do think this is his last season for the team. Ferrari is a team that want to win championships and they need two drivers who are good enough to achieve that for them they can't just rely on Fernando Alonso all the time getting all the points in. Personally I think Massa should be at a midfield team where he can offer his experience and knowledge of driving for Ferrari and really help that team grow. Perez will definitely have a close eye kept on him if he can repeat finishes like he did in Malaysia at the weekend. I love how close it was over the weekend but I do think that did have um, something to do with the ever-changing weather conditions. When it gets to halfway through the season, that is when the front runners will begin to separate from the rest of the pack and really go for the championship. Driver of the day, Sergio Perez, without a doubt. He was phenomenal. No one could match him. If only um, he didn't have that slight mistake he made uh, towards the end, it would have been great to see him on the top step of the podium and hopefully we'll see him on the podium again this season. So thanks for listening to this week's Fun Formula and I 